Hello everyone, Tim Jackson here, Pets to Impress, where polls come first. So earlier in the week and last week, I shared a post to say that something big was coming. Another something big. So since we reopened our doors at the beginning of June, we've announced two brand new services. So we introduced the Scent Space, which was available for the daycare dogs and for you guys as well. So you can make use of the Scent Space. You can rent it out for 15 minutes or for half an hour. Uh, all you need to do is visit our website. All the information is on there. We've then recently launched our brand new school trips. It's another add-on to the, to the daycare service that we provide, which will be starting next week. Next week, we're actually fully booked for school trips. So we're going to be starting to take bookings for week two now. So if you want to get your dog involved in the school trips, you do need to book in advance because spaces are going to go very, very quickly. Now, we do actually have two new things to share. The second thing... I'm going to share with you guys in August. So just a little bit longer to wait for that one. But the first thing I'm able to share with you guys now, and I'm very, very excited about it. So obviously we're now starting to slowly come out of this lockdown. Uh, things started to change around about June. Uh, and from the 4th of July, I believe there's going to be a lot more changes. And we're going to start to slowly get back to some form of normality, whatever that new normality is going to look like. Um, we are going to slowly start getting back to normal life, which I'm looking forward to and I'm excited about. Obviously, I do hope that people will still maintain social distancing and still obviously follow the government advice in place, because what we do want is for a potential second lockdown as well. Now, when Boris Johnson made his announcement in March, I want to say the 24th, 26th, something like that, uh, where he kind of announced lockdown, but kind of didn't announce lockdown as well. He basically said uh, it should only be essential work that you go out to do. Um, so for two months, the world or the country was at a bit of a standstill. People were working from home, people were furloughed, people lost the job. But, and I said this then, my biggest concern was the welfare and the impact that this was going to have on the dogs. So dogs aren't used to us being at home all day, every day. Okay, that's it. That's a standard. Dogs are used to routine. Dogs are used to structure. That all went out the window, as it did for us as well. But that all went out of the window. And that naturally had a massive impact on the dogs. Okay, which is why we did a lot of online courses. So why we did the 14-day the challenge, the isolation station, the dancing with dogs. The idea of this was to make sure that the dogs were still benefiting and still getting something. So when life did start to go back to normal, these dogs weren't going to suffer. Now, being back to work, I've had a lot of phone calls from people saying that their dogs are now struggling being left alone. They've, they've noticed that during the lockdown period, the dogs were becoming quite clingy to them, quite attached. They were following them here, there and everywhere, and they were never left because obviously the there was no need for them to be left. And especially at the beginning stages of the lockdown when we, all, when we were only allowed one bit of exercise per day, naturally, of course, that too in itself would have had a massive impact on the dogs. Now, I suspect that as people start getting back to, to their normal, normal routine, going back to work, I know there's still a lot of people working from home and I know there's still a lot of people that are with their dogs 24 seven, but I suspect, and I did say this at the beginning of lockdown, and it's certainly something that is uh, proving to be correct with the amount of telephone consultations I've had, but I suspect there's gonna be a lot of dogs that will develop a behavior known as separation anxiety as a result of the lockdown, which is why I made the most of the spare time that I had during lockdown to write my second book, which is entitled Help My Dog Does Not Like Being Left Alone. And that hopefully will be on the shelves in the next couple of weeks ready for you guys to purchase. Now, this is, um, this is my second book that I bought uh, that I published this year. So we published Help, Help My Dog With The Devil With Other Dogs at the beginning of the year. I didn't actually imagine that I would bring out my second book so quickly, but I am a great believer in making the, the most of a bad situation. And obviously lockdown give me plenty of time and opportunity to sit down and start writing my second book. Uh, and I'm really excited to be able to share it with you guys. Now, this is going to be for owners that dogs 
on they definitely don't like being left alone it's also going to be great for dogs that that tend to follow owners here then everywhere around the house so if you can't go to the toilet in peace if you can't have a bath without the dog peering his head over watching what you're doing it's also going to be great for dogs that are quite that are known for to be attention seeking as well too so there's a, there's going to be a number of benefits and i think a lot of owners are going to be able to to be able to uh, take a lot away from this book as well now the book has been sent off to the publisher uh, so sorry, sorry, should i say it's been sent to be edited uh, so it's going to be edited, formatted. I'm currently working on a front cover, but I'm hoping that that will be published either the beginning of next week or certainly the week after. And of course, I'll let you know when that is. Uh, but I'm really, really excited. I hope you will uh, pick up a copy and I hope you'll enjoy it. I've had some great feedback from my first book, um, some some lovely comments. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy the second book as well but I'm really really excited for it I hope you're excited for it I hope you'll enjoy it and obviously as always if there's any questions then please just let me know comment below this video send me a message if anyone has any video requests for me then please just comment below or send me a message and I'll upload everyone as soon as I possibly can what I will tell you I'll not spoil it yet but there is a massive bonus section at the end of this book as well which is worth around about £100 so it's a massive bonus section um, which I think a lot of people will benefit from as well too and I'll let you know a little bit more about that when the book is ready and up uh, up for purchasing I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get my words out there uh, when it's ready to be purchased that's what I wanted to say when it's ready to be purchased I'll let you know a little bit more about those bonuses as well so there you go that is the next bit of exciting news that we have to share like I say we do have some more exciting news to share um, come August we have just announced the opening of our the reopening should I say of our stay and play which will only run on a Monday at the moment the reason for that is um we're doing a number of uh, additional classes at the moment, which will be running on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so hopefully Thursday classes will commence uh, very, very shortly. And then hopefully we'll get back to the weekend classes soon as well. I think the weekend classes are probably going to be looking around about August, but I'll keep you informed. With regards to the Monday stay and play, I can let you know that next week there's actually only one space available. So if you want it, you need to book. It's going to be a first come, first serve. You need to give us a call uh, because we do request payment at a time of booking it's not a drop-in service anymore okay you do have to book so that we can main, obviously maintain social distancing and make sure that we've got all the guidelines in place that we need to to be able to run and offer this amazing service to you guys as well too okay so there you go if you want involved with the stay and play make sure you book uh, we do we are taking bookings for weeks in advance as well too so you might not be able to make this monday but you might want to make next monday uh, sorry the following monday you're more than welcome to book in advance as well too just to make sure that you've definitely got that space all right so any questions comment below as i've said any video requests comment below send me a message and i'll upload one as soon as i possibly can for now though this is tim from pets doom press author now of two books where pause come first.